Very good. Um, it was a large amount of people to see. We travelled a lot around the place. We were in Amsterdam, Den Haag, Rotterdam, Utrecht and many other places I can't pronounce. <laughs> uh, and it was very nice. We went to people's homes and studios. Uh, it was very intimate, having a cup of tea and very yeah, personal. No, it's just really nice to be able to talk to people in the industry that you wouldn't normally be able to talk to. I want to say something about uh, Give Me Your Image because um, that this is how um, a, lot, a lot of people um, I, I get in the stories uh, also before when you were here um, that people have a certain project but they don't know exactly what it is about, where they are going and with Give Me Your Image I had several um, um, assignments and one was from Switzerland, from Zurich, from the um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs um, with uh, 10 other international photographers about um, Globalization. I want to go into the houses of the migrant people and, and, and tell their stories. So what I did was um, asking for their um, um, photographs uh, that they mainly had in, in, um, in paper boxes and so. And um, that were the photographs they had taken from their homeland, from their family. And um, they... Uh, then I put these photographs in the surrounding of the house in, in Paris, so in the surroundings where they lived then. And I called this project Paradise in Boxes, and this was published in, uh, in this book. So from there, um, um, you, can, you can have a look at this, but from, from here, when this was finished, I thought it is a nice idea, so I will do this not only about migrant people, but about just people in Europe. So I traveled to uh, many European countries. And by doing this then, uh, came out that it was about the culture of Europe, because I showed all these different um, uh, um, houses, uh, the inside of the houses, in, in all these very different um, countries. In the East, they were, of course, completely different from the west or the south or the north, and um, and also it is about the history of uh, of Europe, but then in a very um, private um, way. I've been in the organization of the Network Week. Um, it's always really interesting because um, at first you think like, oh, they're so big photographers, they're so famous or you know well known about their work, but actually you forget that they're just human beings and then you can just pick up the phone and call them and ask if they want to um, join the Network Week and then a group of students can visit him or her and they can talk about work, photography, anything. This project which was published in 1996, uh, this Snelweg or Highways in the Netherlands uh, project uh, which I did together with my friend uh, Kari Marking. He said, well, we want to look at the highways as, as a cultural phenomenon and not as a thing which gives you uh, environment problems or where people are only traffic jam. So let's, let's say that the highway is a part of our society, a part of our culture, and it has a cultural meaning. Uh, and that was a new approach for them, and also the way how we um, looked at it, looked at it was 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 new. Uh, it was new anyhow for the Dutch. This book was uh, when it was published. We had an amazing amount of media attention, and it's still a sought-after book, uh, especially since it was included in Martin Parr yeah. and Gary Betch's uh, photo book. We, we, we presented it, the book with uh, not only an exhibition, but we also organized a symposium on the subject itself. And it's also you talking about context, how you present your work. Most of the time, I'm really uh, trying to, to address especially the content of the project. Well, yesterday I've been to uh, two different talks. The first one was really great. It was um, Freight and Stig, so I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but Dutch names are really hard. Um, two photographers, two uh, women photographers, both graduated from the Academy of The Hague a few years back, um, in 1995, both of them. 
and uh, they've been doing some very different but lovely work and we had a really nice talk around the table where they showed their pictures, their work in progress. And I went to photograph the Bosnian refugees themselves in uh, different refugee camps. Um, and I also did the writing myself because uh, being like a freelance photographer, I wasn't assigned to, to do it, you know, um, from the newspaper on, so they didn't assign me, I just assigned myself to you do it. You offered it. Yeah, you and I offered the story. Yeah. yeah. The whole package. But I already saw it before, you know, before beforehand. Okay. So I saw yeah. the idea and then I just went. We're here to visit Solar Picture Agency, representing people like Hans and Demir. Six years ago, I started together with Marga Rotteveel um, to be the coordinators of the new uh, direction in photography, or the two directions, which was not really new, but uh, some kind of a um, new implementation of a new curriculum uh, with uh, editorial photography and Vervent, what's Vervent in English? Applied photography? Uh, students of Newport joined us in uh, this network week for the first time and I think uh, I, I sincerely hope that they uh, liked it and that they uh, benefit uh, from the situation because I think it's um, an easy way to organize uh, a student exchange and to get them to know Dutch photography and uh, the Dutch network and get in touch with Dutch uh, students. I've taken so much away from from this week. Um, I've learned more about photography and the future of photography and what it is like to be a photographer. I've learned it. I've learned it all in one week.